Hi, hello friends. This is School of Gender and Development Studies from IGNU. And it is important. Why do we have such a school? You might be thinking that to study gender, where do I go? There are many places which offer certificates, courses, diploma, maybe programs, but they are not that enough because they are made from academicians' point of view only to teach you some critical thinking. But this school offers you a basket of programs and courses that you might be interested in. Now, very important, the why do we have such programs? Women's and Gender Studies and MA in Gender and Development are both made from the perspective of you, from the learner's perspective, so that you can study that you require to know, that you need to know. MA in Gender and Development Studies has mainly to do with statistics, data analysis, gender budgeting, gender auditing, gender mainstreaming, and governmental policies of not only India, but also international policies. And it is important because to study MA, you must have a BA background. Your eligibility is BA in any discipline. It can be BSc, it can be BCom, it can be BTEC, it can also be LLB. So therefore, any professional program holders or degree holders can also come to study this MA. This MA will give you understandings of data, analysis, statistics of government policies, as well as all the gender-related policy holders and diplomas that is required to know about the government is in this MA and in Gender and Development Studies. The second MA that we have is MA in Women's and Gender Studies. It's important for us to know that this MA is not exactly what you study in MA in Gender and Development Studies. This MA has very critical thinking and theoretical interventions of the understanding of women's issues and gender issues. Women's issues and gender issues, you might think, are the same. Why do we have two names? No, they are not the same. When you study this program, you will come to know that this MA has much more to do with more than women. It has dealt with LGBT issues. It has dealt with queer issues. It has dealt with issues that men also suffer. That is why this MA was developed in the school. MA in Women's and Gender Studies is mainly to do with theories and critical analysis and critical understandings also. This MA also requires an eligibility of BA, BA in any disciplines. The other diploma that we have, this is PG diploma with our school, PG diploma in Women's and Gender Studies is almost similar to that MA in Women's and Gender Studies. So they are interlinked. This is the first year MA in Women and Gender Studies. Therefore, it is also a standalone program which is called PG Diploma in Women's and Gender Studies. This program also deals with critical interventions of history, of psychology, of sociology, of medical, of issues with disability, issues with Dalit, issues with caste, class, many other in intersectionalities that you study in this diploma. Diploma is open to any BA degree holders. And the most interesting is BA in Gender Studies. BA in Gender Studies is newly launched. And don't think that this is BA Gender Studies, only gender will be specified. We have intervened many other things, many other disciplines into it. We have put philosophy, we have put psychology, we have put history, we have put sociology, we have put law, we have put science and technology. You can take admission in this if you are plus two level. It's just eligibility is 10 plus two in any discipline. If the science, commerce, arts, doesn't matter. You can take this course. This is from three years to six years as IGNU's norms and policies are. Diploma that we have on the same level, 10 plus two level, is a diploma in women empowerment and development. This is a diploma which is mainly focused on 
the women issues, how to um, train them, what to understand about them, the organization, the leaderships, the entrepreneurship, the issues of uh, women that has been dealt only on the national level has been dealt in this diploma. The, over here also the eligibility is 10 plus 2 or equivalent to any other discipline. The medium of instructions, very interestingly, is English and Hindi. The other certificate programs the school offer are in collaborations with uh, different schools of the university. This program, Certificate in Gender in Law, is in collaboration with the School of Law, but it is housed in School of Gender. Therefore, this program will give you legal understandings of how to look into gender from the legal lenses, or you have to look into law from the gender lenses. Vice versa. The very interestingly, the other uh, program that we have, Certificate in Gender and Science, is mainly uh, have a feminist understanding or feminist criticism of science and technology, or STEAM, I would say. The eligibility for this is also 10 plus 2 in any discipline, but the medium of instruction is English. The last program that the school offers is Certificate in Gender, Agriculture and Sustainable Development. It is a certificate, but mind it, the eligibility for this program is graduation. So it is important that to understand agriculture and sustainable development, you have to be a graduate in any discipline. It is now the high time that the people of this country understands the importance of gender. Therefore, the school comes up with programs not only made by academicians and teachers, but also made by the people who work on the grassroots level. Now, what are you waiting for? Come, join any program of your choice. The program that is housed in School of Gender and Development Studies. Choose your program wisely and take admission anytime or directly go to the Samarth portal of IGNU admission and then take admission. Don't wait long. Come. Join us. Be a part of the family of School of Gender and Development Studies. Thank you. Mm -hmm.